Hi, I'm Dr. Huram Shokat Yousafzai, Hyperbaric Medical Consultant. Today's video is about attaching the oxygen generator to the hyperbaric chamber. In the previous video, I had told you about uh, how to assemble the hyperbaric chamber and the frame inside. In this video, I'm going to explain how the oxygen generator and the dehumidifier is attached to the hyperbaric chamber. So let's begin. Uh, here is the compressor. So this compresses the air which goes into the hyperbaric chamber. So this transparent pipe goes into one of these two valves on top of the dehumidifier. This is the dehumidifier. It has a fan here and on off switch here and it has a bottle for collection of water. So on top, come back to the two valves. One is the in valve and one is the out valve. The in valve is the wet area. So the pipe coming from the hyperbaric chamber goes here. You can press here and it goes like this. Same is the case with this uh, uh, wire. The pipe comes from here then it will go inside the hyperbaric chamber. And in the same way, as you can see, there are three uh, valves over here. So the pipe coming from the dehumidifier will be attached here. Press here and it goes like this. Okay. And uh, the pipe coming from the oxygen generator, which is here, the oxygen generator, it has an on off switch like, uh, let me put on the oxygen generator. This is the on off switch. You can see the light turning on the power. This is the temperature light if it gets too hot. And the blue pipe, which signifies the oxygen. So it will come out from here and it will go here same here like press here you you press here and it goes like this right this is how it works and from the from this pipe there is an extension coming out here to the headset and now i will tell you how the headset is worn okay so to wear the headset, there are actually two grooves here, right? So you wear the groove on top of your ear like this. And the other, over here the same way. And this comes in front of your nose and you can breathe pure oxygen from your nose and exhale the carbon dioxide from your mouth. So this is how the oxygen generator works. And this is how you switch it off. Huh, before uh, I switch it off, the oxygen generator has a, a liter per minute valve. Uh, as you can see, the uh, you can increase to 10 liter and decrease it to uh, 2 liter or 3 or 4. The best would be in the half, about 5 to 6 liter per minute. So this is the valve by alternating um, you know clockwise and counterclockwise you can work it out so this is how the oxygen generator works let me show you how to attach the oxygen headset inside the hyperbaric chamber this headset is attached inside by the following procedure inside the hyperbaric chamber uh, this is the the green um, attachment of the headset is actually attached to this small valve uh, which is coming from the oxygen generator so 
so while being inside the chamber you push it up and push inside this smaller blue lined valve and there is this regula regulatory valve attached to it and then is the headset which is one while sleeping inside the hyperbaric chamber this is the muffler which silences the sound coming of the air coming from the compressor this um, muffler or silencer is attached to this valve you, you can see the middle valve which is shut off uh, by a metallic uh, stopper so this is not where you should attach it actually you would easily see that there is another valve black in color uh, coded black where this muffler goes in so you attach the muffler and start rotating it clockwise like put the face of clock on the valve and in the direction of the um, the hands of the watch you can rotate clockwise so when you rotate clockwise it tightens and this will dampen the sounds of the compressed air coming inside the hyperbaric chamber so it's quieter inside these are the small holes from which the compressed air I repeat air comes from the compressor hopefully this will done easily by you and let me demonstrate how uh, to inflate the hyperbaric chamber this is how you uh, uh, this is how you uh, uh, zip it up for example there are three layers you <coughs> First you zip up the lower layer, then you put the blue uh, seal on top of it and then you zip up the second zip on the white portion. Should be careful not to tear it up. Uh, we're, so after doing this you can inflate the uh, uh, switch on the chamber let me show you this is the button right here you switch on the button and now switch on the dehumidifier and then you close the valve right after you close the valve it starts inflating and in 10-15 minutes the whole chamber will slowly inflate as 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 you would see that uh, the chamber is slowly uh, increasing in size to start uh, increasing and get bigger and bigger in 15 minutes this whole chamber will start filling up so on one side there are these uh, valves coming from the compressor and the dehumidifier and this is the uh, well, uh, the blue pipe is coming from the oxygen generator and this is an extra valve and this is the window from where you can see the person who is taking the hyperbaric session on the other side you would see the automatic valves 
these are the automatic valves. They open up when the hyperbaric chamber reaches the full pressure. The hyperbaric chamber has completely filled up. Mm -hmm. After it reaches full, it will take up a big inflated, you know, its size will get bigger. When it reaches the 1.5 pressure, you will see it on the gauge over here. So this gauge is basically in uh, KPA. KPA means that uh, uh, 10 KPA means 1.1 atmosphere and 20 KPA means 1.2 atmosphere, 30 KPA means 1.3 atmosphere, 40 KPA means 1.4 atmosphere and 50 KPA means 1.5. So this is how the chamber works. It will reach uh, and it will reach uh, 50 kPa, the automatic valves will open and the air will start recirculation. So the person who is breathing out uh, carbon dioxide from his mouth will actually go from the automatic valves at the other side. So basically during that one hour, the compressor should be running, the oxygen generator should be running and the dehumidifier should also be running. Because if you don't run the, ox, uh, the compressor, the carbon dioxide will start accumulating inside the chamber and it will offset the benefits. Because the expired air has to go out from the automatic valves and that can only happen when you keep on the uh, compressor running for the whole one hour. Some people stop the compressor when the pressure reaches, which is not the correct option. So now the chamber is full, so let's start deflating it. Now I switch off the compressor. So I switch on the compressor and this is how to switch off the dehumidifier and keep the oxygen uh, uh, generator running because uh, now I will start deflating the chamber. This, this will happen for around 10 to 15 minutes, this deflation. As you can see that the air is escaping slowly. You can increase and decrease the rate of when the pressure on the dial reaches zero, then you are ready to open the and you would see that the the tightness of the chamber has also decreased. Now you can see the pressure is zero. Now the chamber is ready to be opened. Do the same in the reverse order. Now you can see the, the first zip. Then look for the second one beneath it. This is the second one. That's how it happens and the chamber is completely open. So it's very easy to operate this hyperbaric chamber. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions please subscribe to the apps scrolling down below and I will reply to you. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care, goodbye.